So let me ask you a question. How good are you at waiting? Is your timetable the only timetable that really matters? Or do you think waiting is really wasting time? Especially in our culture, the sense to be busy can be overwhelming. What if we have to wait on the Lord? How does that change us? Let's talk about that as we meet in the upper room. Our devotional for the day is entitled, Waiting, for Wednesday, August 12th, 2020. Our scripture reading is Isaiah, chapter 40, verses 28 through 31. Our scripture verse is, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. That's Isaiah 40, verse 31, from the King James Version. Our thought for the day is this, When I wait on the Lord, I'm not wasting time. Maybe you don't know where to find today's scripture lesson or devotional. Log on to upperroom.org slash devotionals. On that page, you'll see a link that clicks you to today's devotion. If you're looking at this at a different date, just simply put the date for today's devotional in the search engine and you'll be able to find it quickly. Go ahead. Pause. We'll wait for you. Well, the author of today's devotional shares a perfect example of this struggle with waiting. To them, waiting is wasting time. And maybe you're built that way, that you're not very good at being at peace. Or, or maybe there's just certain things in your life that you want done quickly. And if they're not done quickly, there's really no excuse. Where internally you go from patiently waiting to kind of peeved off. You get mad. You get struggling with the person or the time schedule or the plane, or the taxi. You don't understand why these things can't just work out the way you had them planned. The devotional author shares this in a perfect way. Minor damage to their house from a hurricane, a relative who said they were going to fix it, and they had to wait. Waiting. What does that do to you? Well, one of the things that we know about God is that he doesn't just work on the externals. He works on our internal life. And sometimes waiting produces something else. It produces an internal strength. This idea that if I wait on the Lord, God is not doing nothing, but he's doing things in places that I can't see, lining up things or people or situations so that I can walk through them with strength. That's what our verse today is about. It talks about this point of those that wait on the Lord. What renews in them is strength. They get a new sense of strength, not stronger on the outside, but internally. This patience combined with time does extraordinary things. What about you or I? What are we waiting on? Where do we feel like we're wasting our life while we wait? Perhaps today, Today is a day where you should pray through your patience, trusting that if God is God, he is at work, and he can do great and marvelous things in your life if you have the strength to wait. Those that wait on the Lord, the Lord renew their strength. How strong are you? Let's pray about that today. Let's close with a prayer found in our devotion. Father God, teach us to wait upon you. Help us to know that you are always working for our good. Amen. Thanks again for joining us today. You can find links to theupperroom.org plus these video devotional times on the website that's on the screen in front of you. Plus, there are more interactive features like requesting a prayer request, or asking a question. We pray that God blesses you until we meet again in the upper room.